Hello everyone, in today's time-lapse video, I'm gonna show you how I went about creating this beautiful painting right here. And I have three topics I wanna to cover, so I'm hoping not to ramble at any point and lose track of time. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dive right in. Recently, I have been working on a client project for quite some time, and I needed to set some time apart for just me. I took an entire weekend, two whole days for myself. I needed to step away from the work, even though, like, don't get me wrong, I love working with this client. I love what work we're making and it's really fun work too. It's just, there's always stress and there's always anxiety about working on a project and making sure it's perfect and getting everything to just work together. Um, and because it's a big project, it's taking over a long period of time. And I needed to reconnect with my creativity. I needed to let go, unwind, take deep breaths, you know. <sighs> Just spend some time doing something for me. And that is this painting. Normally my healing with art time, I spend in a sketchbook, like in my art journal or on a watercolor paper pad. I'm using materials that dry really quickly. Um, and that's one of the topics I wanted to discuss. That is working with acrylic paints like I am here. You want to give your paint some time to dry in between your layers. So when I was working on the greenery in the background, before approaching these red flowers, I had to let the green dry because if I had gone straight on to it with the red, I would have created a muddy color. Now, I don't know why I never clicked for me to do this, even though I've seen so many artists do it, and that is to use a hair blow dryer. Um, but primarily it's because all those hair blow dryers are being used on watercolor paper, you know, or even on uh, gouache. But I never see anyone do it with acrylic paints until recently. I saw an artist standing there blow drying her canvas and I was like, uh, that's genius. Why? Why did I never put those two together? I don't actually have a blow dryer, but I do have a floor standing uh, fan thing, you know, that you put in the corner of your room and it keeps you nice and cool on a hot summer day. So I use that. Uh, I would point it at the canvas in between my layers and let it do a big, you know, surface drying. And during those few minutes that it would be drying the canvas, instead of going to social media, I actually played a couple rounds of a game on my phone, which is... Uh, so much better for you during your healing with art time or when you're trying to just unwind and not get any anxiety or step away from something like that. It, the important thing is not to go to your phone and go to Instagram or TikTok. It's actually to not, you know, just just don't do that. I, I find that for me, it's best not to. I have some games on my phone and those really help. Topic number two, because it was a blow dryer suggestion, was my first thing I wanted to point out. <laughs> but topic number two is perking with acrylics has this freedom of if you make a boo-boo, it's easy to fix. So when we're creating for healing purposes, what we do doesn't have to be beautiful. The intention is to process our emotions or to bring in a different emotion to let go to unwind to shake it off um, so it doesn't have to be beautiful but there are times when you start working on something in your art journal and you're just like wow I am letting my emotions affect what I'm doing right now like in a in a negative way and you'll You'll look at what you've done, you go, no. And you'll have to start a new page or toss that sheet aside if you're working on watercolor paper. Where if you're working on a canvas or with, or on a, a canvas board or anything like that, what's great about acrylics is once it's dry, 
you can just paint over it. And that is something that I end up doing here. I was really in the flow with it. I was jazzing around to some music. And then after letting it dry for a bit, I looked at the canvas. I looked at what I was creating and it didn't feel like everything fit together. It felt too dark. So I covered up the background with this creamy color. I covered up the flowers that I had used with that cream color. And I went about brightening up the painting itself. Because I've been listening to happy music while painting. And that is my big topic of today's video. And that is music while creating in our art journal process. Music is a huge part of my life. It's a huge part of many people's lives. And if you think about it, I want to say society's lives because <laughs> music is everywhere. Sound is everywhere. It's associated with moments in our lives, with emotions. Um, think about your favorite TV show or your favorite movie or something. And you're watching it and music affects how we are to perceive a scene it helps us feel sadness it helps us feel that badass walk-in moment where someone just did something amazing and like there's an explosion in the background and the protagonist is walking around like yeah I just did that you know like music is a big part and if we use music while doing healing with art time it'll also help us process our emotions or shift our mind from one thing to another I know for myself I have playlists for everything I have a playlist for when I feel the need to listen to sad music I have a playlist when I'm feeling nostalgic and that one's going to be full of boy bands from the 90s because I'm a 90s kid and when I want to feel like a badass I have a badass playlist I have songs in there that make it feel like I am that protagonist from the movie kicking ass you know um and in today's video while creating this painting I had a playlist that really had me pumped up I was singing along dancing and getting my emotions away from the stress and anxiety towards a happier way about things you know I was having fun these were fun songs songs that that really they don't have any intention about singing about heartbreak or you know fighting for anything it was just they're just fun songs and that is so important when trying to shift our emotional state I find i I not only need creativity, like an outlet for it to paint something, but I also need music to go along with it. I've touched on this before, but I just wanted to really talk about it again because it was, I, I, I felt it while painting this, you know? I could feel how I was being affected by the music, how it helped lift me up, how it helped get me out of the zone and then later on when I did go back to work and I worked on my client project it was like bam I was back in the zone I was what I was creating was exactly what we were looking for so music paired with healing with art time are my favorite go-to things to do they're like they have to work together and I had this thought should I create playlists that are public playlists just in case you guys struggle with finding songs for yourself? Like maybe you want to have a playlist that really pumps you up. Maybe you just can't find the exact songs or maybe you only have one song. But oh my God, my dog's about to like go berserk. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in having. We might not have the same taste in music, but... You never know, you know, maybe I can create a playlist that will really help you during your time. Now I am about to reach the end of the video. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching it and for being a part of today's discussion. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section below. 
You can always reach out to me also in the comment section if you have anything like say a song you want to hear on a playlist. Like I'm thinking I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, one second. Oh my God. Hi, sweetie. Oh my God. No. Anyways, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in this type of thing like artwork, hit subscribe. And until next time, stay magical.